Hello everybody again. This is Anna. I'm a tutor with LOETB. Um, I do hairdressing tutoring for them. I'm going to show you a short video on how to apply home colours. Now I must stress hairdressing salons don't recommend home colours but in this case because of the pandemic there is no option. So I'm going to show you how to use them safely and if you look down here I have my plastic bowl, I have conditioner in it because I won't be using an actual colour but just to show you the technique. Now when you buy a colour it comes with a bottle um, especially if you have a thick head of hair the bottle is harder to apply so I recommend a plastic non-metallic bowl and a salon brush. If you don't have a salon brush you can use a simple pastry brush. So you'd put your mixture into your bowl and you'd have your towel to protect your clothing and if you have a gown, well and good. If not, your towel is fine. Now I'm going to ask my model to come in and we're going to show you how to apply our colour. So you cover your clothing. Make sure your hair is brushed out first, that you have no tangles. Now with most people, with most people, the first place is around the front of your head and your parting. So I recommend you start with your parting. So by just mixing up your colour in your bowl, taking small amounts as such on your brush, starting on your parting just out as far as the regrowth. So if your regrowth is out an inch, you just go out an inch. Just paint it on right down the line. Using the end of your comb, you separate the hair in half. So right down the back of the head, and I'll show you when we get down. So this way, you're using smaller amounts of colour. It spreads better, and you're making sure all of the roots are done. So you don't have to be fussy, you're just doing a rough, cutting the head in half basically, with your colour. So you can see here, from Chelsea, right down along, right down along the back of the head. Now, the next part is to pull back your hair at your hairline and do the same thing at your hairline. Just bringing the hair back and making sure you get your colour well into the, e the ends there, into the sides and above the ear. And don't worry about excess colour on the skin at this stage. So you're painting your colour and you can see it's controlling your section of hair and up around the ear. So at this stage, the most important parts are covered is your parting, the people will see, and the front hairline. So when you go to tie your hair back, the front hairline is covered. Now I will turn Chelsea around to show you the next section. Now you can see where we've sectioned it. So we're just going to put another section literally behind the ear. So you're really putting four sections in the hair, four quarters, and painting it along. Up at the hairline, you can see we're just bringing up the hairline there. So the most important parts are going to be covered, just in case you run out of colour. And again, we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the head. So this is our last section. So at this stage, your hair will have four sections. And just the root, because you need to just blend in your gray, 
with the color your hairdresser has already used in your hair. This way, you're leaving it easy for your hairdresser to fix your hair and to blend it in when she gets back to work. You're not causing any damage to pre-colored hair. So you can see your hair is sectioned into four sections. Now, we'll turn Chelsea around again. The main parts of the hair now are done. So you take up with the end of your brush, your fine thin sections of hair, cross them over, and again, just paint your regrowth, the inch, inch and a half that it's grown out. And you do one quarter at a time, Pulling this hair over, painting your colour on, getting around the front area and right down the lawn. Now at this stage I might just get Chelsea to take the phone over to show you in more detail. You can see the small, thin sections. We're just running it along. Thin sections so that the hair isn't too thick and the color can saturate it. So you're painting both sides, running your brush through, a little bit of color, so to make sure it all spreads, because when you're finished, you can use what's left. So you're taking up your sections, painting it, you can see here, so it's on both sides of the hair, up along, making sure to get around the ears, pulling it up and using the colour. You can see here now how it's all coloured all around the hairline, so that's that section of hair done. So you have the first quarter and then you go over to the other side and you continue the same process. Taking fine sections of hair small bit of color on your brush and just to demonstrate the pastry brush if it's a case you don't have a brush it'll do the same the very same job and tie tie you over So you can see using your pastry brush, making sure to get around the hairline, sectioning it off, small sections, pulling it up, that the colour is saturating both sides of your root. And again, making sure all around the ear, the front section, saturated with your colour. Now, if you don't have a brush and bowl, it's fine. You can use it directly from the bottle, squeezing out the very same section at a time. You squeeze it out and the very same applies. So you'll be pulling back, allowing the air to circulate and you continue to your third quarter, pulling up the hair, as you can see. Taking small sections. Now it depends.
depends on the thickness of the hair. In our case here, Chelsea has a lot of hair. If you have fine hair, it's easier. But by just doing the root, you're not going to do any damage to the color that you already have in your hair. You're just going to use a natural color on your root just to blend you in, to tide you over until you get back to your hairdresser. So you're painting it along all the way down and into the back of the neck, the nape. And that's your section finished. At this stage then you can judge how much colour you have left and make sure and do the areas that are most obvious. the hairline and the back of the neck. So you can see here we're taking our section still. Now at this stage, if you're running out of color, don't panic. Just get your hairline So once your hairline, using your brush up along your hairline, the nape of the neck, bring all your hair back, go over your front of the hairline, just like so. And as you can see, the rest of the hair has no color. Just the root. So we've applied our color to our root section, leaving out the ends. We're gonna cause no damage whatsoever to our ends and our original color. We're just going to blend in our root using your natural color. Most colors, read your instructions on your box, but most colors are 20 minutes on the root and 10 on the ends, which is a total of 30. But because you won't be putting it on the end, the whole uh, development time is around 30 minutes. So making sure you have all your color on, you can then use your baby wipe for any excess color around your skin. As such, just taking off any around your ears, any, making sure not to take it off your hairline and leave it to develop. So good luck girls with your colour. Um, be careful and read the instructions carefully before you start. Thank you very much for looking. And our next video, we're going to show you how to do a simple trim and how to cut a fringe. So we'll see you soon, stay safe.